so good morning welcome along and today we're going to be riding this this is the LXR 125 this is the white and blue version really like this really bright vibrant colors on this one and we've got the engine running so you can see those lights on it so normally in daytime running position that center daytime running light would come on this is in your night mode and you've got those two LED strips to the front and those two dip beams projector lights either side of this one nice set of dual, dual disc brakes to the front of this one and those white and blue panels really set the bike off nice stainless can to the rear we've done quite a few of these LXR videos but obviously I thought we'll have it up and we'll get the lights running very very early morning just gone seven o'clock this morning so nice early morning test ride nice deep seat sports bike style and you've got that single mono shock to the rear of the bike just climbing on let's get a look at that dash on that and display so your neutral and your lights indicated down to the left if you go into your daytime running lights on the right hand control you've got the projectors and the jewels and then when you turn all your lights off you've got your daytime running lights and then your light indicator will go off but for the purposes of driving this morning full lights on 1.6 miles on this standard controls on the left hand side horn to the bottom indicator in the center main beam dip beam just above and there is a pass light that flashes your light and just look at the depth that you get on that main beam so a very vibrant main beam even flipping it up that is a really bright light projector light that comes up to the front so loads of light on the front of this it's not going to be like holding a candle in the wind on one of these very bright vibrant lights on this one and that growl off of that 125 engine so just working it through the box letting the traffic come past us and we're going to sit at a nice steady 40 on this one so just getting out into traffic Just for the purposes of ride testing for the first couple of miles, we're going to keep the, the visor up on this one. I am running an Iridium screen, so with the Iridium screen down it is very dark, so I've got the visor up at the moment. I have got my sun shield down, just to shield my eyes even though I do wear glasses. But I always say, if you are wearing a helmet, get yourself a clear visor. Because obviously at night and during the day, if you've got a tinted screen, and it's going to be a little bit dark for you just keeping the revs nice and low before I work through the box five speed box on this one down four up and you have that gear indicator on the dash it tells you what gear you're in and sitting at a nice steady 40 now we do take these between 40 and 45 little burst of 45 bring it back down to 40 but the average speed running in on these is 40 mile an hour as I have banged on about in all of my ride videos you've got to run these in at 40 mile an hour first 500k once you've done that have a service up to 50 second service you're good to go now these LXRs are pretty nippy once you've run that engine in another blogger friend of mine has taken one of these up to 72 mile an hour and he did go for the aftermarket can on this he did put the Lextec can on this one and people absolutely love these LXRs so if you do want to see LXR being ridden at speed with the aftermarket can on it you can go and check out a couple of other people there are spicy 110 he has done quite a few reviews of the LXR or if you want to see how a customer rides it another YouTube friend of mine is Diz Locks D I W Z L O X and he does hammer around on his if you're going to watch his video watch out for the bad language though but uh, there are loads and loads of videos all over YouTube of these LXR 125s and it's probably the best bike that uh, Lexmodo have done for absolutely ages sports bike feel, slightly upright bars see I've got the raised bars on this one it's not got the full 
are up handlebars that you would expect with a sports bike so the riding position is very very good and with those mirrors out on the stalks I had looking at that mirror I'd say from my point of view if I just get down close and look at that mirror you've got about an eighth of my shoulder in that mirror so they're very very wide mirrors on this ample view of the road behind you so lovely mirrors on this nice tucked in LED indicators to the front and you've got them nice tucked in rear LEDs to the rear as well so nice and compact sports bike feel absolutely amazing bike this and it's been a while since I've got back on an LXR but we have got quite a few of these in stock now we've got some more white and blues coming the black ones are very very hard to source at the moment but my favorite of all of them is the grey and the blue what they call the gunmetal and that is an absolutely amazing looking bike never have a problem with these LXRs absolutely beautiful so if you are thinking of getting one of these don't forget you get that two-year warranty any dealer should be registering it taxing it for the year and you've got the full backup of that Lex Moto dealer network as well so if you are buying a bike at distance from someone else that has one you have got that backup of that national warranty on this so you can go to any local dealer to get your servicing and your warranty repairs done and people have banged on about tyres tyres on these although they are nylon they are still a very very good tyre absolutely perfect in the dry in the wet once you've run the tyres in and got them nicely scuffed up and worn in they do hold very well in wet weather and on cold mornings So the tyres do an ample job for what you would expect. Just come in on the dual braking on that, so just use the rear brake to come in. And that will give you a mix of 70 rear, 30 front, or about 60-40, some say 70-30, some say 60-40. But just remember you will always get better brake force off the front brake. If you are using your rear brake, you've got less traction on the front end. The front end is what is going to stop you because you're going to be putting down force on that front brake. And progressive brake pressure is what you should be doing, not snatching at that front brake. So nice and steady, progressive brake pressure on, and then bring it in nice and hard. So all the weight is on the front end. And as you can see, that does pull up very, very quickly on that front brake. Gearbox, very, very easy to manage, even coming in on fourth gear then, and just working down through the box. Gearbox on this is very, very smooth. But I tend to, as I come down through a box, rev match. Which is an old thing that uh, a lot of the sports bikes do, revving as you come down to rev match your gears. But even pushing it into the corners gently holds the road absolutely perfect. So just working through the gears back into fifth. And bringing the power back onto the bike. We're going to blend out into traffic just watching that car over my shoulder quick head check and moving out into traffic leds on this are very very bright on an early morning so nice bright indicators and lights all the way around you're not going to be worried about people seeing you on a dark morning and especially with this white and blue it is very very easily seen compared to a black bike that you would normally run about so if you've got a dark bike and you've got dark clothing on like I have I'd always say get yourself a fluoro jacket or get yourself some a nice white bike or a coloured bike so it's easily seen so we're going to get some more mileage on this bike now and we'll cut back in when we get back onto the urban route so I'll see you all in just a few So just coming off the end of the dual carriageway mileage, currently 15 miles on the bike and just using that brake pressure on the front wheel and as we say press and roll, roll off the throttle and apply the brakes. 
So, final ride test, the last little bit I do is to push it through the roundabout, it's just to scrub those tyres up. And it's still very dark this morning. Best thing is the clocks go back tonight, hooray! But just rolling it through the roundabouts on those tyres, absolutely perfect grip off of those, no movement at all. A peg position on this is very, very good. And just set back slightly from the mid centre. Now I tend to ride the pegs on the balls of my feet. Most people prefer to have their instep or their midfoot on the peg. I tend to ride most sports bikes pegs on the balls of my feet and shift my foot should I need to change gear. And then back to the balls of my feet. Reason being for cornering your toes aren't dragging when you corner. But that is individual preference. Some bike riders ride a different style. I tend to ride my pegs on the balls of my feet unless I'm on a touring bike when I use the middle of my foot to ride the pegs. But it's individual choice. I find it more comfortable to actually be on a sports bike riding the pegs on the balls of my feet. And it also means that you can tuck your knees in cornering. But absolutely perfect through the corners. And the last little bit of mileage to put on these, and we're just going to do the last bit around town. Just show you what one of these little bikes would do if you are on an urban route or around town. Just pushing it through the roundabout and applying a bit of uh, beans as you go into the corner and out the corner. But absolutely perfect. And even on those low gears, torque off the rear end is very, very good for a 125. So if you are in the market for an LXR, got a couple of the white and blue ones coming. Black ones, as I say, are in high demand. But we have got quite a few of the LXRs coming. And I know the stock at Lexmoto is nearly depleted on the LXRs. There is another batch on the way. But most of the bikes are in high demand. So if you are into a motorcycle, phone your dealer. If you're going to wait for one coming in, you're going to stand no chance of getting a bike. Speak to your dealer and put in what's called a pre-order. Get a deposit on a bike because if you just wait for one to come into the showroom, you are going to find yourself out of luck because most of the Lexmoto bikes are being reserved ahead of delivery. As usual, all the social media. Easiest way to get to it is off my web website which is redbomb.co.uk. Down the bottom on the first page, Eclipse Motorcycles, a link to the website. There's also a link to their Facebook page and their contact number is in there as well, 01908 643 603, all my social media. As always, on the last page, that's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and the YouTube channel. And if you uh, do enjoy what we see, click that subscribe button over here somewhere. Like and subscribe. Be nice to have a few more followers on the YouTube. Comments below what you think of the LXRs. I know Diz will comment on this one because he absolutely loves his LXRs. But let us know what you think, good sides or the you know negatives as well. And what is the bike that you're currently riding at the moment? Let us know that as well. Really like to get some comments from you guys. What you think of the Lexmoto range? And on a very cold morning, and very dark morning, and early as well, from RB, and all the team at Eclipse Motorcycles, enjoy this weekend. Don't forget you're going to get an extra hour's sleep this Sunday. Be well. If you're riding, ride safe, guys. And from RB and the crew, we'll see you all again on the next one. And as always, it's a big goodbye from me.